Welcome to the garden. Today I want to talk about the insects that I have in my organic garden. When I first started gardening, I was totally overwhelmed about the pests and the insects that I found. I really thought that every bug I found was a problem and was hurting my plants. Last year, I started gardening organically for the first time. And I was amazed at the life that was growing in my garden and not just my plants. I saw insects that I had never seen before, not just butterflies, but insects I had to research and, and learn about, and I loved that. This year, I've challenged myself. My goal is to garden without any pesticides at all, including organic products. My goal is to create a garden environment where the beneficial insects will outweigh the negative. I'm hoping to have a lower maintenance garden and also to just enjoy the life that my garden produces. I hope with this video that you learn about some of the beneficial and harmful insects in the garden and maybe you'll be inspired to grow organically as well. Let's take a look at how the garden is doing so far. It's the second week in June and my garden is thriving. I was really intentional about creating a variety of plantings in my garden beds. Underneath my tomatoes, I've planted kale, zinnias, and nasturtiums. With a variety, it helps encourage beneficial insects, and it also helps prevent massive predator problems. I planted the kale to keep the soil covered and moist. The zinnias will draw pollinators when they bloom, and the nasturtiums are a trap crop for aphids. The goal is that the aphids would be drawn to the nasturtiums instead of feasting on my tomatoes and peppers. As you can see, my peppers are looking amazing. Their leaves are healthy and they don't have any damage so far. I also planted marigolds next to my peppers this year. Marigold blooms will draw pollinators and their leaves will help repel some pests in the garden. The aphids have been very interested in my potato plants this year, but in only a couple of days, the ladybugs were stepping in and helping to neutralize the problem. My green stock garden planter has also been a great success so far. I planted a wide variety in the green stock in order to promote pollination and help prevent negative insects. I've planted marigolds and zinnias, I also planted several nasturtiums in the green stock. My hope is that the aphids are drawn to the nasturtiums instead of my other plants. A few days ago, I noticed aphids on my miniature tomato plants. But if you look closely, you'll notice that the aphids are really white carcasses. This tells me that beneficial insects have eaten the aphids and neutralized the problem. Now let's take an up-close look at some of the insects that I found in my garden this year. Ladybugs are a huge benefit to the garden. Most people are familiar with adult ladybugs and know that they eat aphids. But did you know that in their larva form, they also eat aphids? Their larvae look a little bit creepy, but they're a huge benefit to the garden. Anywhere you have aphids, on nasturtiums, peas, tomatoes, give it some time and the ladybugs will help you with your problem. This next insect is called the soldier beetle. It's an amazing garden defender as a larva and as an adult, it's a prolific pollinator. They look a little bit like lightning bugs. If you see them, know that they're working to benefit your garden by taking care of pests and pollinating flowers. Up next is the millipede. These are commonly mistaken as bad bugs, but millipedes have a great benefit to your garden. They work as foragers, breaking down wood, leaves, and organic matter in the garden. Pill bugs are another natural decomposer. They help with breaking down organic matter like leaves, sticks, and mulch. They can be a great benefit to adding organic matter to your soil, but if they don't have enough food, they might go after your plants. 
This lacewing was resting on my green stalk. Lacewings are amazing beneficial insects. They eat things like aphids, caterpillars, and other soft-bodied pests. While I wouldn't want them in my house, spiders are actually a great benefit to the garden because they eat other insects. Believe it or not, flies are underrated in the garden. They come in all shapes, colors, and sizes, and they're great pollinators. I was shocked to find out that wasps are one of the most beneficial insects in the garden. Tiny wasps like this one actually parasitize other insects by laying their eggs into them. You might find a caterpillar or a tomato hornworm covered in tiny white eggs from this wasp. When the eggs hatch, they eat the pest from the inside out. This thorny looking bug is an assassin bug nymph or baby. As an adult, it can be up to two inches long. The assassin bug is an amazing predator in the garden. It feasts on larvae and other small insects. It can help by neutralizing pest problems without using pesticides. Assassin bugs do bite, so be careful not to handle them. Ants. While ants are a pest inside, they're actually beneficial to your garden. They work typically in the soil, and as they tunnel and break down material, they're adding airflow and nutrients to the soil. But if you have ants on the top of your leaves, it could be an indicator of a larger problem, like aphids. Aphids are a common pest. They suck sap from the leaves and the stems of your plant. A couple aphids aren't that big of a deal, but over time it can be a large problem. Ants can also be an indicator of leaf hopper bugs on the underside of your leaves. Leaf hopper bugs also suck sap from the leaves and stems of plants. Now, ants have a symbiotic relationship with aphids and leaf hopper bugs. They offer their protection from predator insects, and the aphids and leaf hoppers give the ants honeydew. This insect looks like a yellow ladybug, but don't be fooled. It's a garden imposter called a cucumber beetle. It's often found on plants in the squash family, and this one I found on my sunflowers. This is a bug that eats the leaves and stems of plants and is a major pest in the garden. After a hard rain, I often find that my soil is covered in snails and slugs. They're pests that feast on the lower leaves and stems of my plants. If I find them in the garden, I usually pick them up and feed them to the chickens. Well, it's taken a lot of research and patience to have the confidence to go pesticide free in my garden, but I'm proud of the bugs that are here.